before you were the doctor, right? And so is Peter Capaldi. So what's that like? Yeah, that's well, I got the job because I'd been in a previous episode because I got on well with John Nathan Turner, we laughed a lot and uh, we became kind of friends and six months later when Peter was leaving he thought of me to play the Doctor so if I hadn't played another character I probably wouldn't have ended up as a Doctor and uh, maybe the same is true of Peter Capaldi, I don't know but I mean for years he accepted um, belief was but if you've been in it, that's it. You know, you can't be the doctor. And I was the first person to break that mould. And Peter is now the second. And I think he's going to be a brilliant doctor. I've seen him do a lot of stuff, and he's perfect for it. And there's a, there have been a few uh, interviews and appearances with people on YouTube. And everything I've seen so far about Peter Capaldi tells me we're in for a treat. And he's a grown-up as well. He's not, he's not some little boy playing the Doctor. He's a real man. He's the same age as William Hartnell was when William Hartnell started playing the Doctor. That's an interesting thought, isn't it? Did you think you ate a little? Well, obviously, I, I can't really answer that question, can I? Um, I wasn't in it before, only in my head. In my head, I watched Doctor Who, and I was definitely a companion in my head. So really, I was there in spirit, and eventually appeared in reality. Would you like to come back as a different character? Um, I would love to come back as a different character, or as one of the many Perrys that are out there. Um, both of which would be very exciting, and I would very much love to do that. In a sense, it's easier for Nicola to come back than for me, because we, we kind of expect the Doctor to look the same. But Perry uh, is a human being with a life, and once we accept that she's not uh, Kim, uh, or has uh, the bit about Kim was a lie, as was the bit about going off and marrying Ian Carlos, um, there's no reason at all why Perry can't come back. Or you could go and see Perry in another time stream. Um, do you still watch Doctor Who now? And do you often find yourself critiquing that, saying, oh, no, she's not like that, she's not like this? In fact, do we just still watch it now? I think we've sort of answered that question. Yes, we've done that one. Sorry. <laughs> um, do you often find yourself critiquing them, saying, oh, we shouldn't have done that, or we shouldn't have done this? Um, well, yes, I suppose sometimes you do. There was, there was one which wasn't particularly myself critiquing the show, it was in fact my stepson. And we'd been watching the new series and it was the point where Amy's baby had gone missing. And in the storyline, literally the Doctor then goes off and has a few adventures. And we got to the end of the story, I think it was the pirate one, and television went off. And my stepson just was shaking his head. And he said, that's all wrong. And I was like, what? What's all wrong, Dad? He said, they've forgotten. They've forgotten about the baby. And he was really upset and indignant. And I had to say that I thought he was, he was right in that sense that uh, the adults had gone off and had another story, whereas the children were very aware that that baby was still missing. So that's probably the only time. Um, I don't really sit there critiquing Doctor Who. <laughs> it doesn't feel quite right to do that. Come on, let's talk about the weeping angel, shall we? <laughs> Anyone who was here yesterday knows what I'm about to say. Um, I thought David Tennant was a remarkable doctor. But he's a remarkable doctor who, like the sixth doctor, had two eyes. Now, yes, blinking is bad, but all you have to do is switch eyes and wink. And they can't get you. Just keep winking and run away. It takes the sixth doctor to know that.